So what is it that we're looking at here? Okay, well this is all sediment that's come in from neighboring communal lands. Um, this is on the southern boundary of the Mudalangwe Trust um, in the communal fields. And this is all the sediment that's come in through their deforestation and overgrazing, which has caused it. And it's come through the drainage systems and deposited in, their, in the Chilaveca Dam, which was one of their, their biggest sort of natural, well not natural dams, but man-made dams, but was used as um, a pan. For, for the wildlife, and as you can see, it's no longer there. Um, already a whole lot has been taken out of sediment, has been removed, and there's still uh, more than two-thirds remaining. And that's what you can lose off your fields, and this is what the communal farmers have lost from their, from their fields, more importantly as well, and using vetiver and using that as an intervention or as a strategy to, to mitigate the erosion and the removal of sediment and soil from their fields is going to improve their livelihoods as well and prevent the, the, the degradation of the natural drainage systems within the Malangui Trust. So okay. that, so that um, innocuous looking piece of gr grass, grass is actually doing an incredible environmental service. It is, service. It, is it, it is, and um, it's it being a xyrophyte, um, both a xyrophyte and a hydrophyte, um, it's, it's suited to, to very wet conditions and very dry conditions. And it's the dry conditions that we're concerned with. We are semi-arid, yeah. Um, so it's going to have a much better ability to survive through droughts and to keep on working and doing what it's supposed to do, which is holding back sediment. And why, why have you selected that particular grass? Well, it's a, well, you've select, mainly, well, there's 12 different varieties of vetiver, and we've selected that one um, as being the one that is not, it doesn't produce the seed, doesn't produce rhizomes or um, uh, stolons, so it cannot... It cannot become a pest anywhere else within the reserve, which is of a huge concern. Um, and it can only be planted vegetatively. So you've got to split it and then, and then plant it, and only then will it take. Um, if at some point it's done its job and the natural grasses have returned and the, and the, and the bush around it, then that can be removed. And sometimes it'll just die out on its own. So that's a benefit. Um, another reason is that not only does it stop the sedimentation, and the degradation of the soils, but it's going to rejuvenate groundwater. It's going to slow the water, the runoff going over the surface. And by doing that, it's going to infiltrate more and more water into the, into the subsoil, which is going to be of benefit to their crops in drier years. The roots are going to be able to um, access water and more moisture in the ground. Additionally, the grass can be used as a thatching grass if it's left, left to grow out, which is a very important for this region. Um, it's their only source of roofing, really. Um, cheap roofing. Um, it can be used as a fungicide. It's got fungicidal properties, pesticidal properties. They're planted around their gardens or used as a mulch. It chases the pests. It reduces pest incidence in their gardens and their crops. It's also been um, uh, proven to act as a mechanism by which to pull stalk borer away from their normal crops like um, sorghum and, and, uh, and maize. So, and that's a big problem here in the low fault with that stalk borer. So that reduces their yields. So with this crop pulling that pest away from the, the, the uh, with the vetiver pulling the pest away from their crops, it's increasing the yields. They've got more to eat. So it covers a multitude of uses from erosion control, water conservation to actual communal farmer input and their livelihood. Um, and we're already seeing within two years differences like that. Some guys are already, some of the communities I believe are using it as a mattress stuffing as well. And because of its antifungicidal properties and pesticidal anti-pesticidal properties, it's is a, re, a, a reduction in bed bugs, fleas in the home. So small little things, but they add up.